if you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, remember they're both on Twitter. I'm over here at Arizona Wilderness Brewing Company in Gilbert, Arizona. It's family vacation weekend, and we decided to come to Arizona to visit some cousins and to visit the grandmother. So, that being said, you guys know that if I'm traveling wherever I'm at, I try my best to visit a brewery, and I had three on the list, three recommended by the great folks in the state of Arizona Craft Beer via Reddit, and this was a location, so since I'm staying in Gilbert, I figured, why not? Now, this is the second time that I've been to the area of Gilbert, and the very first time I did not know that this brewery was a mile away from where I was staying, so uh, I'm going to start off with the flagship IPA. It's called, uh, where's my beer menu at? Look at this beer menu right here. Boom, here we go, beer menu. It's called the uh, Refuge IPA, clocking in at 6.8%. It's their flagship IPA with citrus. Citrus, 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 citrusy taste, and that um, American hops made. So, um, we're going to drink that, see what it's about. Put that on film, too. And, um, yeah, there's a couple more other ones that I want to try. That I saw the uh, untapped. And then on their website. Now they brew a brown ale, however, I'm thinking that's seasonal because the last time it was posted on on tap was in 2018, and that was uh, the fall time. So I'm gonna look at their tap list, see what they got going on. What they got to go, they got the refuge to go in 16 ounce cans, they got the watermelon goes, and we'll probably leave with that. And that's about it. I wonder if they do crawlers or anything like that. But um, I don't know. We're gonna try to check some more of their beers out, starting with the Refuge IPA, and we'll be back here in a second. Peace. All right. So just like that, beer tender lady came, dropped off the brew. This is what we looking like. What are you gonna get? This beer has a little haze to it. Um. It has got a nice haze to it. And it's like a traditional IPA, according to some of the brewer's notes. So here we go. On this, what's this? We got Friday, August 2nd, 2019. First brewery of the weekend. Over here at Arizona Wilderness Brewing Company in Gilbert, Arizona. We got the Refuge IPA. delicious. What did you get? What is this? This is the tart lightly slighted ale with local watermelons and Sonora white. So this is the watermelon goza. I think today is what like National Watermelon Day or something like that? Maybe? good right there that's the one right there you sip on if you just at least here since it's so warm you just go out on the porch or right around the pool and you just crack that open pour it in a glass and get to sipping got that nice tart juicy juicy mouth I'm like feeling it all in the back back of my mouth there but this refuge IPA right here I might have to leave with a four pack of this because this is actually pretty damn good Six point eight percent. It's drinking nice, 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 nice and smooth. I'm talking about. I have to do like all those nices because I'm like that tartness from that sour. But this beer is pretty damn good. Mm. I'm gonna go over the food menu and see what we got going on. And think about what's gonna be the next beer I'm gonna drink. Whoa! What's up, everybody? Charlie, if you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, we're on beer number two, and you heard it here first in my beer for tonight. They're both on Twitter. So this here is Arizona's version of the New England style IPA, or I would say. Uh, Arizona Wilderness Brewing Company's version of the New England style IPA. And this beer is called La Coudad. I think I pronounced that right. La Coudad? La Coudad. Um, La Coudad 
in English from the Spanish translation is the city. Now we're not talking about San Francisco, the Bay Area, the city. So um, it's an IPA showcasing uh, Citra, Mosaic Hops. It's brewed. So they brewed this beer for their downtown Phoenix Beer Garden location. Um, I won't have enough time to go check that out. So we're here. And I guess you would say Gilbert is like the suburb of Phoenix. But this beer looks damn good. Like, for real, for real. Haze. A lot of haze in that. Now, obviously, I was drinking their flagship IPA, and I was like, man, this beer is, that. that's, that's a hazy-looking beer. Um, now, I guess you would say, yeah. I mean, we're in the Southwest, so you can't say, okay, it's like a um, uh, uh, West Coast style IPA. It sort of drinks like a West Coast style IPA that's on the lower level, at least in my opinion, based on the West Coast style IPAs I've drank. Um, but their flagship IPA is delicious. So I cannot wait to snap a photo of this beer and taste it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the beer down right there. Throw my phone on that portrait mode. Shout out to Steve Jobs, rest in peace, and the rest of the Apple development team on throwing that portrait mode on the phone. time because that picture looks similar to the picture that I just took of the Refuge IPA. But anyways, now that the picture has been snapped, here we go. La Quad. I'm jacking that up. So let's just stop and let's go ahead and taste this beer. It's clocking in at 6.4%. So here we are. crazy. I haven't had a New England style IPA or the hazy IPA that has taste the same. They've all been different. Even if you drink a New England style IPA that, let's just say Great Notion because that's the style that they produce over and over again. The beers may look the same a little bit. The taste is always different. However, one thing I can say, my first initial sip of a New England style IPA, it always takes me back to my very first sip of a New England style IPA, and it was a beer brewed by Great Notion. And I'm not gonna tell you what that beer is, but I always go back to that, like that memory. And sipping this beer took me all the way back to, that would have been, 2015, late 2015, August time frame is when I jumped on that Great Notion bandwagon and I had the first taste of what a New England style IPA is all about. And let me tell you, this beer just took me back. It's 2019, so this beer, it's 2019 August, and it was 2015 August when I got my very first taste of Great Notion, and I put this on everything. This beer took me all the way back, four years ago to this month. Arizona Wilderness Brewing Company, thank you very much. Thank you, Marlena, for putting those armpits in the video. <laughs> Cheers, everybody! Woo Edit that out. Pinkies up! <laughs> I didn't realize I made it. His name is Iron Man. If he can do it, no one can. Bam, 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 bam. Anyways, what's up, y'all? Charlie, if you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, last beer of the sesh. We got the Bitcoin Triple IPA, 12.2%. 10 ounces in that Teku glass. Oh my gosh. Look at that 
right there. Citra, Mosaic, Equinox, and I've never seen this hop before. I'm gonna say that's like um, Wamiya hops? Wamiya? Wamiya hops. So this beer is gonna bring you those tropical fruit, berry, tangerine, and orange tasting goodness in your mouth. Pause. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. First of all, I want to thank my family for being here with me. Shout out to Levi Strong. Shout out to Kingston. Shout out to Marlena. Shout out to Brian and Tammy. Shout out to Roberto and Mama. We about to come see y'all. But uh, yeah, last beer of the sesh. We got the Big Horn Triple IPA. Bighorn Triple. And uh, man, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I did not think, not saying I thought the beer was going to be trash, but I did not think the beer was going to be, I didn't know what to expect from the beer. And I guess the reason why I didn't know what to expect, because when I was last here, this brewery did not cross my radar. It didn't. I got two cameras going. So for my Arizona Reddit folks, I want to thank y'all for the recommendation. Um, and um, what's it? Waimea. Waimea. Waimea hops. There we go. So um, where was I at? My folks, Arizona Reddit, thank you for the recommendation of Arizona or Arizona Wilderness Brewing Company. Thank you guys for the recommendation. I extremely appreciate it. My last beer, we got the Bighorn Triple IPA. Bighorn Triple IPA. 12.2% and that fancy glass, like my son would say, you got that fancy glass. And, um, I mean, I don't know. Should we, should we chug it? Should we sip it? What should we do? Chug it? No, don't chug it. No? No. No? You have to drive it. Yes? Yes? No. Don't do it. I ain't gonna do it. What they say, do it for the gram. I ain't no. gonna do it. Do it for the gram. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> hey, man, y'all enjoy yourselves on this Friday. Charlie, like if you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, the they're beer. both on yes. Twitter. The Bighorn like Trip YPA. Blessings. Salute. Pinkies up. We cheer.